the man to find kau kau the man dogo. We have to list them up like the man dogo. The man dogo to list them up the car. So kau kau the man. Hi everyone. I'm on a food tour. This is Anna. I'm working with Anna. I'm volunteering with her. We're trying. Um, Chicha morada. Chicha morada. Chicha morada. It's a purple corn drink and it's really big here in Peru and it's actually really good. Yeah. yeah. At the oldest restaurant in this area of Peru? No. This, like in uh, this area of Lima? I don't know. I don't know. And a really old restaurant. Okay. So we just tried. So good. <laughs> we just tried. Um, I just tried coca leaves for the first time, which I'm going to be trying a lot in Cusco. And yeah, it's really weird with um, toca. What was the other, the black thing called? I, I don't know. It's like this uh, plant that makes it taste better. It, it tastes like minty, so it makes the leaves taste better and it like activates it. It has like, um, like bicarbonate of soda, I think, in it. Anyway, um, my whole mouth is numb now from the coca leaves, <laughs> so I can't feel my tongue. Lukma? Lukma. 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 I don't know what it is. That's really weird. The texture? The texture is very weird. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. The texture is like very thick mashed potatoes or something. I don't know. It's like weird. But it tastes good. How strange. Uh, it's good for cholesterol. Okay, Jack on. Yeah. It doesn't taste like much. I feel like I feel like sugar cane or something. Mm. I feel like it doesn't taste like much though. It's just a bit sweet. But it's good for cholesterol. Good for your cholesterol. So You're getting all these health benefits. You know? yeah. I'm currently very well suited. I could go and climb a very big mountain right now, and I wouldn't get altitude sickness. So. Yeah. Yeah. If it's good for cholesterol, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I... wow! You got that whole thing. <laughs> you it's like you peel like egg, and you can eat with a spoon inside. It looks like passion fruit, but it's not passion fruit. Granadilla has a lot of collagen. Also, it's good for constipation. And uh, that's it. it. Not necessarily that you chew it. Just swallow. Okay. And we can we will say cheers together. Okay. So don't drink. Mm. It's just like passion fruit. Yeah. I have many different flavors in my mouth right now. Oh my God. You lost our third. It's super sweet. This tastes like, like a candy. Like a candy, like a sweet. Like a Haribo or something. It's really sweet. It was crazy. Um, purple banana. We say platano morado, okay? Purple banana. Uh, but actually, you just feel, it's not necessary to cook, just feel inside it's a little bit orange and also it's very soft. But this one is, this one is my favorite. This is platano de la isla or island banana, okay? Platano de la isla or island banana. But this one, yes, inside it's very orange and also very soft and it tastes very good. This one is my favorite, but I really like this one. Uh, this one is the biggest banana. Okay? The biggest banana is a uh, platano bejaco. Bejaco banana, if you want to fry it, if you want to cook, if you want to prepare it cheaply, that is these chips, banana chips, okay? This one, this one with bejaco, okay? And this one <laughs> is the, the cutest banana, you know? Oh. Smallest banana, okay? So this one, yeah, uh, is the sweetest banana. It's called platano bizcochito. It's the sweetest banana, okay? And this one, well, is the normal banana. It's the normal banana, okay? Yeah, uh, give it a second. 
little nonny. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe not so bad, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's called nonny and apparently it smells like rotting. <laughs> Dulce de leche, maybe you know as dulce de leche. So it's also really good, guys. Here you will find here that it's also bigger than the Spanish, and it's only three soles and fifty cents. If you if you want to buy something here, you have to make a line. You have to try, to try the churros. It's very big. It's really good. I got dulce de leche because I'm obsessed, and it's banging. Explain to everybody. We came to this. Um, archaeological site. Archaeological Remember, it was built a, a thousand years before the Incans. Yes. Yeah. So it's old. This cat, Anna. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> they came here and established many tombs like this one. Remember that panel in the museum. The packages are represented the bodies. Now we have replicas here because the original ones could be deteriorated, could be destroyed in this temperature, in this environment. Well, so the packages are called funerary bundles and really inside when the is found the evidence they found bodies placed in sitting position because the, the arms and the legs of the body were bent well, okay. uh, um, we've made some new friends <laughs> they're a bit the weird homies. can't lie but yeah, the homies, the, homies. the gang. <laughs> We're partying. Squad. Hey. What's up, bro? <laughs> oh, look, I got frogs. Oh my god. Yeah. The face is two very excited people right now. Hi, guys. They're so fluffy. Like American camelids, they are domestic and they are llamas and alpacas. They either are llamas. These ones are big. These are really big. So obviously in Peru, they eat guinea pigs. But well, you've tried guinea pig, haven't you? Mm -hmm. How was it? It's good. It tastes. It tastes like. It tastes kind of like pork. Fair. <laughs> I don't know whether I could try it. I love guinea pigs too much. Well, I was able to get it somewhere where they had guinea pig nuggets, which is absurd. Uh, but they are just, nugget like, size. I know, it was, but it was like it was like they made chicken nuggets out of guinea pigs. Oh my god! I don't think I could do it. We made some new friends once again. More friends. More friends. Like in the pyramid, and then built the next level with adobes. It's the same sequence that we saw in the pyramid at the Aaron Park. Well, but for them was a meaningful experience that <laughs> Hello everyone. Hola. <laughs> we said we're just gonna get one beer and now we are leaving the house so like story what of Lima is <laughs> what <laughs> is <coughs> Okay every almost. single night <laughs> even if we're not working no even if we're working <coughs> <laughs> She's dying. Uh, we go for our shift at work. 
both yeah. working at the bar. <laughs> not going to drink tonight. We're not going to drink tonight. I'm, I'm not in the mood. I don't want to drink. Yes. Every fucking A good five shots. Seven <laughs> beers five later. There we are. Five. Oh my God. I did about ten. Oh. Right. That's and that's awesome. on a night that we're working and then the night's off unless we avoid the bar <laughs> with everything in the mic tonight we were like it's a monday night there'll be no one at the bar there normally yeah. never is the bar was packed we got there we'll like we'll have one beer yeah just to hang out because that's our living room we just live there one beer. we'll have just like, one beer we'll go yeah. um did we fuck <laughs> I had 10 shots. The, no, okay. I had three within the first five oh, yeah. minutes and they just get pulled yeah. into my mouth. Yeah, that's the thing. I want to be, make sure this vlog gets it. It wasn't the fucking No, five. we're not paying. We're not pay, We're not going to the bar and go, oh, give no. me a tequila shot. They're no. all free drinks. We, we pay for no drinks. No. And I, I'm a no, Brit. We didn't. I'm we a didn't. Brit. Yeah. If someone offers me a free drink, I'm taking the free drink. <laughs> And that becomes an issue when for a me month straight too. you are offered 10 free drinks a night. Me it does become an issue. But you know what? That's it. We're having fun. But it's a Monday night and we're, we're headed out oh, now. Oh, fucking Monday. It's 2, Monday. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> Hola a todos, estamos en la paseo de los héroes navales. I don't know how to say that. What are you doing? Oh, she's cleaning up. Me and Anna have come for a little day out. Anna's doing her bit for the environment. She's cleaning up. Um, we've come downtown to like the old historic center. We're gonna see some sights. Um, it's Anna's day off. I've got work till tonight, so see some sights, eat some food, um, yeah, we just got the bus in, I'm in the way of her photo, Instagram, it's so cute, we're walking past the Palacio de Justicia, which is the Supreme Court in Lima, we're doing looks, <laughs> looks like in the movies, you know, like, yeah, it's a very posh building. Okay, Anna made some friends. <laughs> Hola. Oh, we got into this building. I still don't know what it is, but it is very pretty. <laughs> Hola. We're in the Plaza de San Martin. Plaza San Martin. Don't know anything about it, but it's cute oh. once again. This is the, probably the most amount of tourists I've seen in one place, actually. Beautiful. What? Tourists. Oh yeah, yeah. There's not usually that many tourists around. I don't know. There's like some, but not like this many in one place. It's not. It doesn't feel like a very touristy city. But yeah. Okay. When I did with the free walking tour guide, mm -hmm. they started here. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon there's a lot of. You can see so many walking tour people about. Yeah. But yeah, I'm hoping it gets sunny. <laughs> it is like this every single day in Lima. It is cloudy. It never uh, rains. Yeah. And there's never any sun. It's very occasionally, like a tiny, tiny little bit of sunshine will come out. It's super rare. Um, Cause it's just like, I don't I know, don't know by what's the sea. about sunshine you're saying. Has been a month. I don't see the sun, nothing. Like, no, a little bit of sunshine, no. That's a very intricate church. I think we're gonna go in and confess our sins. Um, but we're on Hiron de la Union, which is oh my god, uh, which is like it's a just, yeah, it's like the main uh, one of the main streets here in the historic center. So it has like everything going on. It's very cute street art in this city, everywhere. Um, we're looking at a big rock. I'm not sure what the rock represents. It's very cute. We're right in the main center. So pretty. It's such interesting architecture. Yeah. 
We're in the main main square in Peru, in the Plaza Mayor. Super pretty. Many Peruvian flags everywhere. And there's like a beauty pageant going on. Yeah. yeah. It's just a dog. <laughs> In the yeah. square. He's very cute. Come to a uh, park. I don't know actually. Uh, and we're on the hunt. I think we're gonna find some more alpacas and goats. Because you can't get enough llamas in your life. Mm, Yasmin has forgotten how to function temporarily. And there's the llamas in the background. Oh, so cute. Llamas. I'm bothered. Hello. They always look very unimpressed. Lisa, you're not a llama. You're so cute. So many. And there's rabbits. <laughs> I don't know what kind of goats these are, but their faces are <laughs> just adorable. <laughs> they look very smiley. Huh? Come to the uh, cactaria. Don't really know what that is. There's a lot of cacti. Right by the railway. That's where the trains come through. So we're having the like just the house soup. I think it's chicken and vegetables and stuff. It is very good, confirmed. And the best part is, is that it's ten soles for a soup starter and a main. Ten soles is two pounds for soup and main course. Um, and we're getting some chicharrón as well because it's so Peruvian, which is like um, <laughs> the drink they have here, which is made out of purple corn, and it's very good. This is chicharrón. I don't know how to describe the taste. It's very sweet. Um, it's very sugary. It's very distinctive. There's nothing like it. I guess purple corn. I don't know. It doesn't taste like corn, but it is very sweet. And then this is our main course. Chicken and rice. We've come to the Peruvian House of Literature or something. I don't know. It's like a library. Um, but it's really pretty. There's a library down here and a bunch of um, exhibits. As per usual in Lima, the promised sunshine is uh, absolutely nowhere to be seen. Um, the weather app lies constantly. We're on our way to Pride in Peru. Have our little face paint. We had the Pride party at the hostel last night. Now we're on the bus going to the big Pride parade in central Lima. We're very excited. Yay. We're all colourful. We just arrived. Yay. We found a little Pride flag. There's so many people. We're so excited. We just got some food from the street vendor. So much food, I'm so full. We've got noodles and chicken, potatoes, and the chicken they gave me was the size of my head, so I'm fairly sure it was a turkey. <laughs> Genuinely, like an entire chicken fry. So I'm really fueled up on protein. Everything looks so good. And there's so many people here, and the pride parade is setting off soon, we think. So excited.
Because I lost my flag, but I got a pom pom. Yeah. Now I'm a cheerleader. I lost her flag and she's very sorry, but we got pom poms. So we're cheerleaders. Um, it is hours later. We've been walking the parade for a long, long time. We've been dancing for a long, long time, and it's been really yeah. fun. It's been so cute. And there's so many people giving out free hugs, free kisses. Uh, I didn't kiss anybody. Anna said yes to all of them. <laughs> And now we're going towards the concert. The parade is over and we're going to the concert and I'm very excited. Hello everyone. It has been a few days and I thought I would just do a quick update as I put my shoes on very quickly and get to work. Um, it is, I have no idea what day it is. It's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday the 3rd of July? That sounds about right. And um what's happened i've been ill the past few days i think pride really took it out of me and so i've been basically recovering since then um what updates have happened um, two of my roommates have left two of the volunteers have left i'm the last volunteer left standing so my shifts have kind of changed to just working the busy shifts because we don't have any other volunteers right now no one's signing up you're watching this you want to come and volunteer in lima come watch it's a great um come watch come work it's a great place to work um but what did i do today not much i had a day off and i went and got a shawarma from this place that i've been wanting to try it's actually just a little street cart um down the road and it was so banging um, I'm glad I waited this long to try it actually because I'm going to be wanting to get it every day and that's not really um, healthy. Um, so yeah, it is currently 5 to 9. I'm working at 9 o'clock tonight. You can definitely hear karaoke going on. It is karaoke night on Wednesday of course. Just heard Christian scream out the Spanish version of Hakuna Matata which I didn't even know was a thing. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling much better now than I was the other day. I had a very high fever. Genuinely, I thought that was it for me. You know when you're just like really ill and you're really dramatic and you're like, yeah, this is it for me. Never, never making it. That was where I was at. But we have recovered. And we're excited for a very long karaoke shift. Um, it's also been five days since I last drank. Which I'm not gonna lie guys, there's a bit of a record on my travels so far, especially for Lima. It has genuinely been every single day. Um, as a bartender, it's it's very easy to just, you're offered drinks every single night. It's very, it's very difficult to say no. Um, but I've made it a solid five days without a drink. So I'm gonna reward myself by drinking. <laughs> Bye bye, yeah, hello. Can't believe I've been here for a month. It's crazy. Can't believe I'm leaving this place. Look at the architecture. It's so beautiful. 
on to bigger and better things. I'm off to Cusco, I'm doing Machu Picchu. Finally, it's been the number one thing that I've been the most excited for, so. It's sad. It's also exciting at the same time. And I look rough, I have not slept, so. But, I've got this, I'm gonna go catch a flight and on to more exciting things. <laughs>